The Armed Forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In the past 24 hours, the Russian Armed Forces have continued launching attacks by high-precision long-range air and sea-based armament at the military control and energy systems of Ukraine. All the assigned targets have been neutralized. The Russian troops delivered a fire strike against units of the 14th and the 92nd Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and foreign mercenaries close to the settlements of Petropavlovka, Peshano, and Berostovoye in Kharkov region. More than 40 Ukrainian personnel, four armored fighting vehicles and three pickups were eliminated. At Krasny Liman direction, the Russian troops successfully impeded the enemy's efforts to cross the Zhorobets River at night close to the settlements of Stelmachovka, Rozovka and Rygorodok of the Lugansk People's Republic. The Russian troops eliminated more than 30 Ukrainian personnel, three armored fighting vehicles and two cars. At Nikolaev Krivorok direction, the Russian aerospace forces conducted missile strikes to engage units of the 60s, Infantry Brigade and the 35th Marine Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, as well as units of the Foreign Legion close to the city of Nikolaev and the settlements of Novovoskrusenskoye, Bezemennoye and Trifonovka in Kherson region. In 24 hours, over 120 Ukrainian personnel and mercenaries, 8 armored fighting vehicles and 12 cars have been neutralized. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery have engaged seven command posts near settlements of Metalovka, Dvurechnaya in Kharkov region, Illichovka, Turetsk, Yakovlevka, Podgornoye in Donetsk People's Republic. Gulay Pole in Zaporozhye region, as well as 64 artillery units at their firing positions, manpower and military equipment concentration in 156 areas. Three munition depots have been eliminated close to the settlements of Chervona Dolina in Kharkov region, Novogrigorovka in Zaporozhye region and Berezniegovatoye in Nikolaev region. Two launching ramps of S-300 Ukrainian air defense system have been destroyed near Kupiansk in Kharkov region and Nova Elizavetovka in Odessa region. Within the counter-battery warfare, two Ukrainian artillery batteries have been neutralized near Glushkovka in Kharkov region, as well as one U.S.-manufactured HIMARS MLRS platoon near Drobyshevo in Donetsk People's Republic. Russian air defense facilities have shut down one Su-25 airplane of Ukrainian Air Force near Trifonovka in Kherson region. Moreover, 12 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shut down close to the settlements of Chaikino, Suhanovo and Kucherskoye in Kherson region. Novoselovka, Staromayorskoye, Lugansk of the Donetsk People's Republic and Popasnaya of the Lugansk People's Republic. 11 HIMARS and Olha MLRS projectiles were intercepted as well as 8 HARM high-speed anti-radiation missiles close to the settlement of Kahovka in Kherson region. In total, 324 airplanes and 161 helicopters, 2,278 unmanned aerial vehicles, 383 anti-aircraft missile systems, 5,891 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 873 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,489 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 6,652 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The Kyiv regime continues its provocations aimed at creating a possible technological disaster at Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Today, around 4 a.m., the enemy with the forces of up to two companies made another attempt to land troops on the left bank of the Kahovka reservoir and seize the territory of the nuclear power plant. For the landing, the enemy involved 37 motorboats and cutters with the Ukrainian servicemen, 12 heavy and 25 light types. The Russian troops took active actions when guarding the outer perimeter of the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant to neutralize the enemy's landing troops. The losses of the Ukrainian armed forces amounted to more than 90 Ukrainian personnel and 14 motorboats. The rest of landing group was scattered by artillery fire in the water area of the Kahovka reservoir. In addition, in 24 hours, the Ukrainian artillery fired 13 shells at the northern outskirts of Energodar and the territory adjacent to the nuclear power plant. The strikes were carried out from the area close to Margonets in Dnepropetrovsk region, controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces. The hostile firepower has been neutralized by Russian artillery's counter-attack. There are no casualties and destruction at the station. The radiation environment remains normal.